think, Marcus, think. What do you remember last? Nothing that would lead to this. Not unless chipmunks slip people roofies now. Wait, I hear something. Hey, he kinda does look like Elvis. Yeah, I see it. Sing something for us, Elvis. Elvis? Really? Sounds like a stretch to me. Elvis, jeez, you're looking good. Sing something for us. Sing your dead ass off. Quit it, Rusty. Michelle, what's the story? Apparently they found him at the old creek. A doctor found him on the side of the river. Was it the physician that signed him off? Yeah, they pronounced him dead at the scene. That's right. I was at the old is creek. There? Wait, dead at the scene? Is this what it's like after the old pump gives out? No, Rusty's breath smells like onions. That means I can breathe. Surely a bunch of doctors can see I'm breathing. Come on, look at my chest rise and fall. See me breathing. He's alive! He's alive, he's just gonna sing for us here in room four. You ain't nothing but how Stop. Stop! Get your hands off me. And you keep your hands off him. I'm sick of your sophomore class wit. You start up again, I'm gonna report you. Why are you being such a bitch? That's it, get him out of here. Come on, Russ, let's go. Fine, I'm done with this. He may be an asshole, and thanks for protecting me. But at least Rusty was close to right. I'd sing blue suede shoes naked in front of the Queen of England for you to see how alive I am. Most people know me as ruthless stockbroker Marcus Smith. I don't feel very ruthless on this cold table. What a funny story this will be at those boring company parties. The day Marcus was powerless. Please see I'm alive. The way those two are flirting, they're never going to notice I'm alive. God, I hate that guy. He's such a jerk. Why am I always with the jerks? I don't know, but Rusty, he's a special case. Yeah. So, you want to do the, imperi the pericardial cut? Do you really want me to? Yeah, I think so. Will you assist? I'll be your trusty co-pilot. God, this is like amateur hour on the young and restless. At least maybe all this sexual tension will give me time to sit up and say, Hey, just kidding. Wait, did she say pericardial cut? I've heard that. It was on CSI. Oh, no. I'm in an autopsy room? Makes sense, I guess. Pretty sure that cut will get blood going everywhere. Then they'll realize their mistake. But then it'll also be too late. Damn it. There's got to be some way to convince them I'm alive. No. Please. Why? Because that's the way I want it. When you're on your own, you can do whatever you want. But this is my autopsy room, so you start with the pericardial. Shears first. Okay. And remember, any fool can learn how to use a milking machine, but the hands-on procedure is always best. I'm not even sure. Was that a come on? Oh, come on, Marcus. Do something. Just make a noise. Uh, uh, yes, I need to get it louder. Uh, Do you want some music? I have Rebecca Black. It's not Friday, Katie. Right. Um, uh, Kid Cuddy. You? I'm not as square as I look, Pete. I didn't mean that. Uh, I could look for Elvis in honor of your first pericardial. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> I saw some turn, I keep this in my mind, mind. I live for peace, but see, I don't attain. Turn that down. What I need for keeps this silly game we play. Now look at the shit. The sheet down a little bit. We got a tattoo. It says avoid regret. We are defined by our past. We got a damn poet. What the hell is that? We got a third nipple. Can we get this over with? I'm ready to get my first precardial done. Hold on. We need to check the body for abrasions first. What's this? Is it a fourth nipple? No. It just looks like mosquito bites. Oh. For your information, buddy, third nipples are more common than you think, okay? Joey on Friends had one, right? <sighs> Mosquito bites. All right, all right. Last thing I can remember. I was sitting down to read a book by the side of the river. What is missing? There was, there was something just to the left of me. What was it? I just wish I could wake up from this nightmare. Please just let me wake up. Can we cut them open already? Yeah, let's do it. The hell, I'm going in. 
Don't cut him open! Don't cut him open! We might still be alive! We found a snake in the bag and a bit Michelle and she's unconscious and I'm worried! It's been a year since my experience in autopsy room 4, and I've made a complete recovery. Although the paralysis was both stubborn and scary. It was a full month before I began to recover the finer motions of my fingers and toes. I still can't play the piano, but then of course, I never could. <laughs> that is a joke, and I make no apologies for it. In the first three months after my misadventure, I think that my ability to joke provided a slim but vital margin between sanity and some sort of nervous breakdown. Unless you've actually felt the tip of a pair of post-mortem shears poking into your stomach, you don't know what I mean. Two weeks or so after my close call, a woman on Dewpoint Street called the dairy police to complain of a foul stink coming from the house next door. The house belonged to a bachelor bank clerk named Walter Kerr. Police found the house empty. Of human life, that is. They found over 60 snakes of different varieties. About half of them were dead of starvation or dehydration, but many were extremely lively and extremely da dangerous. Several were very rare, and one was a species believed to have been extinct since mid-century. Kerr failed to show up for work two days after I was bitten. One day after the story, Paralyzed man escapes deadly autopsy, the headline read. At one point I was quoted as saying I had been scared stiff. There was a snake for every cage in Kerr's basement menagerie, except for one. The empty cage was unmarked, and the snake that popped out of my bag, the ambulance already had packed it in with my corpse, was never found. The toxin in my bloodstream, the same toxin found to a far lesser degree in orderly Michelle Hopper's bloodstream, was documented but never identified. I've looked at a great many pictures of snakes in the last year and found at least one that was reportedly caused cases of full body paralysis in humans. This is the Peruvian boom slang, a nasty viper that has supposedly been extinct since the 1920s. Dupont Street is less than a half a mile away from Old Creek. I was extremely lucky that day, and I learned a lot about life. But, as you might hear or read in the news, I'm still pretty ruthless. I hold on so nervously to me and my you keep your hands off him. I'm sick of your sophomore class wit. You start up again, I'm gonna report you. So far has not been good. It's been shitty and I feel Do you want some music? I have a bunch of blast. It's not Friday, Katie. Those pretentious things. I thought you and me. It's not boring. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do I say? Oh, no. I thought I was like, oh. like why? Not paralyzed, but I seem to be struck by you. 